Recently, I started learning how to make cocktails with AI. I know I have weird hobbies. But I came across a great YouTube channel called How to Drink, where they asked ChatGPT to come up with new recipes for cocktails. Then they asked Midjourney to design those cocktails. And then on the video, they made those cocktails and even shared some tasting notes. Excellent idea. And I thought, why not doing the same with health sensors and digital health technologies? So of course I did. I went to Mid Journey and I started asking that AI image generator to design certain technologies, health sensors for me. And as I've tested over 150 of these technologies, I thought I would find out whether any good ideas about design can come out from an AI-based image generator. Let's see what it came up with. The first prompt I used was a wearable health sensor that patients can wear on their chest to measure ECG continuously. I think it looks great. Having an ECG sensor on your chest with so many leads, it makes sense. This way you could create clinical grade ECG measurements. I've used one before. This was uh, just a two lead ECG on my chest and it could uh, measure ECG continuously for one day. Of course, that's, that looks much different than what we have made by Midjourney, but for multiple leads, I would love to have the design the AI came up with on my chest. The second prompt I used was a headband that patients can use to measure sleep quality and improve it. Usually these headbands are measuring EEG, electroencephalograms. Here is the design that Midjourney came up with. There is one major mistake uh, with these pictures is that if the sensor is on the hair of the patient, then it won't measure any EEGs. It must be on the forehead. It must have a very good contact. Otherwise, the data quality is simply awful. And I used such a sleep quality tracker before, like this one. It was more or less comfortable. It could measure EEG and provide me with some insights about sleep quality. But in general, I try to avoid sleeping with sleep sensors that are on my head, not on my wrist or not uh, under the mattress. The third prompt was a sleep sensor that goes under the mattress to measure sleep quality. That's quite a common thing to do. There are so many uh, technologies and sensors that, goes, that can go under the mattress. They measure your breathing patterns, heart rate, stuff like that. How, how many times you move during the night. But this one that Midjourney came up with, this is simply, I think, the worst example of all the 11 I will try to show to you. In the first two pictures on the left, the, the bed has a light under it. How could you sleep while it's green or orange? It disturbs your sleeping patterns. On the right uh, top corner, the sensor is bigger than a human being. How would that make sense? And on the right bottom corner, you just have a smartphone app, but we can see the actual sensor, the technology, that can go under the matter. So um, in that sense, I don't think that Midjourney could come up with a better solution in design than what we already have on the market. Number four is a very important prompt because of the potentials of that technology. A smartwatch that can measure blood glucose continuously. Maybe what the Apple Watch would be able to do uh, very soon. Here are the four designs that Midjourney came up with. I love these. And on the, the left uh, bottom corner, even the, the top of the watch can be disconnected from the band. It makes sense. And um, the design, I think, is beautiful. And I could imagine wearing these smartwatches that can measure blood glucose without any invasive methods. So hopefully we will have such uh, blood glucose measuring smartwatches soon. Number five was about a technology that's that has been on the market for many years, digital stethoscopes. A digital stethoscope that doctors can use to listen to cardiac sounds. Well, the designs that Midjourney came up with, I mean, these are beautiful, but just don't try to follow uh, all the wires. Sometimes they are not even connected to the actual device. But I think what we have on the market in the form of these digital stethoscopes perfectly makes sense. In one way, it's just an analog stethoscope. If I uh, push this button, it becomes a digital stethoscope and I can record cardiac and lung sounds on my smartphone. I don't say even though this part is heart shaped, which which is beautiful, but I don't see how these AI designs would contribute to making these technologies even better. With the sixth prompt, I think uh, Midjourney just got fed up with me. And for the prompt, a blood pressure device that can measure blood pressure continuously, it came up with these awful things, these huge bulky devices, while we have such thin technologies on the market already. 
These are much more different than the traditional cuffs that we've had on the market for decades. These are getting thinner. Some of these can even measure ECG as part of the blood pressure measurement. So having these designs, it's a very awful idea to move into that direction when we already have such thinner and thinner sensors on the market. With number seven, I tried to be creative. And I thought I would ask an AI image generator how it can imagine uh, something from a science fiction movie. So a medical tricorder device in practical medicine today. You know, the medical tricorder from, from Star Trek. And why we have devices on the market already that can measure several vital signs and health parameters at once, like body temperature, ECG, heart rate, breathing patterns, sleep quality, and so on. I still wanted to see what Midjourney could come up with. And then it came up with these devices that look like a Walkman, if you know what Walkmans are, or a stereo device or a package or a bag that does look like something from Star Trek, but how far is it from the actual medical grade, clinical grade devices we have on the market? Medical technologies from science fiction won't become real anytime soon based on AI's image generation capabilities. But the fact is that there are medical tricoders that we can use in practice today. Number eight is about a fairly new technology, a wireless patch sensor that can measure blood glucose continuously. I expected Midjourney to be quite practical about that because even we at the Medical Futurist published a video a few weeks ago about this sensor with this tiny needle in the middle that I put on my upper arm and for two weeks I was able to, to continuously measure my blood glucose levels. It was an amazing experience. Compared to that, let's see what Midjourney came up with. These awful devices, huge sensors, which are not thin, I'm sure these are not comfortable to wear. So what can we learn from that? Actually nothing. I think we have reached our peak. These sensors maybe, in theory, could become even thinner even smaller, but still it has to be attached to the skin for two weeks while you are having showers, while you are exercising. So I don't see how this could become significantly smaller. Uh, so it's the, the direction that Midjourney is showing is not a direction where we have to go with the progress and evolution of this technology in particular. With number nine, I thought I would just make an exception and not ask Midjourney to design a health sensor, but I wanted to see what it thinks about a digital health technology, a trend. 3D bioprinter. So the prompt was a 3D bioprinter device that can print out living tissues. If you check the announcements and studies and company articles of all those developers focusing on 3D bioprinting, you always see these um, bulky devices that print out a heart. But that, that's never the case. The case is that in 3D bioprinting, we are able to print out tissues, living tissues, cartilage, bone, um, heart muscle, liver, but just tissues, not the actual organs. So it was refreshing to see that Midjourney thinks about 3D bioprinters the way he thinks about those. These devices look amazing. These devices print out tissues, not actual organs. And there is a fluid, like uh, it, it seems that it's filled with fluid, which is also one of the newest methods in 3D bioprinting, instead of using scaffolds and the traditional methods in um, uh, additive manufacturing, they are turning towards these more complicated methods where they print out biomaterials, not into scaffolds, but into a fluid uh, structure. So I think these are beautiful. Number 10 is about the technology we still don't have in 2023. I mean, we can measure blood glucose continuously and blood pressure and ECG, but not body temperature. One of the simplest vital signs there to measure. And Midjourney came up with these very interesting health sensors or skin patches that are huge. And I just don't see why these would be needed to measure uh, body temperature. But the, the prompt was that a skin patch that can measure body temperature, photorealistic style, sleek design. Well, that's not the case. If, I mean, it's okay that we still don't have good skin patches that can measure body temperature reliably, but there are devices like this or the medical tricoder and with that, but we just a short scan, uh, I can find out my body temperature in three seconds. It would make sense to have skin patches, but we still don't see them on the market. But even if we do, we won't see anything like what Midjourney designed for us. And for the last prompt, I thought I would ask AI to design what everyone is using, a fitness smartwatch. A 300 million people have a sort of fitness smartwatch. But there are so many things on the market that it's hard to find out how to improve the design we already have. But AI tried to do that, and I thought I would use the simplest prompt ever for this purpose, a fitness smartwatch that keeps patients healthy. That's it. 
and the design image journey came up with, I think it's brilliant. I've tried all the major brands and technologies and companies and none of these looks like what me journey came up with not even the one i'm wearing right now i love these designs i would love to wear a smartwatch with such a screen that's full of vital signs and health parameters providing me with insights these are beautifully designed sleek so i hope that major companies wink wink we think fitbit apple and so on will come up with smartwatches that look like these here so that's what we tried to do here, this fun experiment with an AI image generator to find out whether we working in digital health can learn anything about design from the AI, the way the AI thinks about these advanced technologies. I think in some cases it, it uh, came up with some good ideas, but in general, we are not even in that bad shape when it comes to what these advanced technologies and health sensors look like that are on the market yet. But still, let's be hopeful that the ones that will come soon will be even better than the ones we have today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the Digital Health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.